uh, morning students you are able to uh, hear me yeah okay so uh, today we will start with lecture 7 which is logic gate realization and design till now we saw uh, uh, how to do uh, sim simplify the boolean expression based on algebraic manipulation as well as k map now finally whatever is the function we need to uh, realize it in the hardware right so we will see uh, how that is done right so uh, before that uh, let me just tell you okay uh, shriya and uh, there was uh, one more student okay uh, they brought, brought out these uh, uh, ambiguities okay yeah here yeah. and eva okay there were two students who brought out this ambiguity that uh, uh, f is equal to pi uh, it's written max terms 2 3 4 5 from the previous lectures okay so this is actually erroneous right these are the min terms if you see 2 3 4 5 it is written 1 here so uh, these are the uh, min terms so there is an error in this slide okay uh, here it is correct like f x is equal to here max terms is given 0 1 2 5 so here we write uh, now for 0 1 and uh, uh, 0 1 2 and 5 we have written uh, 0 out here okay so okay uh, thank you Sriya and Eva uh, so for all of you also just uh, uh, be careful okay there is an error here so when you study just make that amendment this is min term small m okay so 2 3 4 5 will be 1 rest will be 0 here here it is max term so this is the correct notation max term so wherever you have uh, max terms written here there it will be uh, zeros out here okay so uh, now we will see the uh, implementation okay like I uh, already said in the first or second lecture that we always prefer NAND and NOR gates because they are known as the universal gates okay with NAND and NOR we will be able to synthesize any other gate right so uh, when you make a custom gate okay a custom IC uh, you can uh, make uh, uh, all kind of gates but suppose if you have an FPGA or uh, uh, if uh, if he has got uh, some uh, yeah I am recording so you don't have to do that okay so I'll share the uh, recorded one okay so if I am making an uh, FPGA right and uh, so where it is programmable so what about the hardware the hardware cannot be programmed instantly right so we generally uh, in FPGA and all things like that we make it is all made up of AND gates and AND gates will be programmed ex uh, 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 accordingly as per the program so they are uh, universal gates they can be programmed for making any other gates okay so uh, that is why so so in CMOS technology which is the current uh, technology for all the ICs what you have in your mobiles and PCs okay they all use C CMOS technology and in CMOS technology you can only have negative gates that is you can't have an AND gate synthesized or an OR gate okay you will have an, a negative logic synthesized you know when that towards the end we will see CMOS logic little bit uh, at transistor level I will just introduce you to transistor level design then you will understand that okay in CMOS we can only make NAND and NOR gates and to make an AND gate we make an AND gate and put an inverter so AND gate is difficult to fabricate okay it is NAND gate we make to make so that's why it is important that we try and uh, synthesize our design based on NAND gate okay we design our circuits based on NAND gate for easy synthesis okay uh, similarly OR gate is realized by using an NOR gate and then putting an inverter so these are the universal gates okay with NAND gate you can make OR also with NOR you can make AND also right so these are the universal gates so if you see uh, NAND implementation, if you have to make a NOT gate, say, say in your IC they are all NAND gates only, but you need these different kinds of NAND, uh, uh, sir, gates for your circuit. So uh, so this is the NAND, if you short these two inputs of the circuit, okay, it will become an inverter. Like in an FPJ what happens is, all these interconnections, you can make these interconnections by program, but the basic cell remains all NAND gates because all the basic cells are NAND gates you can program it to you know, uh, any uh, uh, you can make it a NAND you can make it an OR so that's why so if you connect these two inputs short these two inputs it will behave like an inverter you have like 0 1 so 0 0 of a NAND will be 1 1 1 will be not AND so it will be 0 so it will act like an inverter similarly if you have to make an AND gate you will put an uh, 
uh, NAND and then an inverter. Okay, this inverter is again like this. Okay, from a NAND. Similarly, uh, uh, you have uh, two in uh, for an OR gate. Okay, this is important again for an OR gate. You have an AND gate. You invert the two inputs. Okay, so that we studied early also. See, if you have an AND gate, if you in, in the lab, uh, I guess I explained that. If you have if you have an OR gate, if you invert the input and output, it will become an AND gate. So here that uh, 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 inverter of the outside AND is just clubbed here, so this becomes a NAND. Okay, this is what this is an AND gate in which the input and output has been inverted. So that is an OR gate. Right. So these are the. Uh, 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 yeah. How this is how we can implement an inverter, and and or using a NAND gate. Right. Similarly. Right. If you write the, you know, values, you, you will get this also. Right. It will act like an OR gate. See. This is A and B. A bar B bar. This is not of A bar B bar. So this becomes by De Morgan's theorem it becomes a plus here, not not A B. So this is A or B. Right? Okay. Similarly, all the gates can be synthesized using an OR gate also. OR gate also you short both the inputs, it will give an right and you put an uh, this is a NOR gate, so it will give an zero zero, it is NOR. So it will give one. One one it's not an NOR, so it will give zero. Similarly, if you have to have an AND gate. For a NOR gate, you put two inverters out here, it will become an NAND. So if you write the expressions, it will be clear, right? A, B, then you get A dash, B dash, then this is NOR. That is OR of these two and NOT of that. So when this gets replaced by an AND here, and the individual and our terms, you have a NOT. So this becomes A and B. So you see how an AND gate is realized. Okay, now you have an NAND gate. Suppose you have a function a b plus b c. So you got to implement this as an only NAND. So first thing you got to do is you make a NAND and AND gates and an OR gate, right? If you have this configuration, replace by each of its gates by NAND realization, right? So this a is an you make an NAND gate and an inverter. This is again a NAND gate and an inverter. What about this? Okay, anybody can can you prompt the answer for this or get? You can switch on your mic. Two and not two two not gates and then an and. Yeah. An and gate. Correct. So you put this two uh, no, not gates and an and gate. Now these two inverters they get cancelled, right? You are inverting the signal again, inverting it back. So you can remove these inverters, right? So it get you can remove these two inverters and it gets simplified like this. So this these two gates are exactly matching this this is the same implementation of this so if you have a structure like this okay just blindly replace with nand nand and an or right will just replace everything with a nand gate if you have an or of many and gates like in k after k maps what will you get you will get an expressions like this right and and or so you the same expressions you just have to write it the way it is and just replace it with NAND gates, you will get the answer. Right? Very simple. Okay. Uh, uh, this is again uh, uh, two representations of NAND gates. Bubbles are inverted. Okay. This is the same thing. Okay. So you don't have to worry about this. Okay. This is another method. They are saying, okay, you insert a bubble here. You insert a bubble here. Okay. You insert one bu two bubbles here. They will cancel out each other. So one inverter here, one inverter here, one inverter here, one in. So those inverters are going to cancel each other. Now that one inverter you club with this, you take it, make it an AND. That bubble you convert it, you know, club it with this. That will become an AND. And these two bub extra bubbles which are there will get combined with this OR, and that will give an AND. So that is another way. Like you have put one bubble here, one bubble here, one bubble here, one bubble here. For each bubble, there has to be corresponding. So you inserted two bubbles here. Now this becomes an AND, this becomes an AND, and this also becomes an AND. Okay, these bubbles they get cancelled and they become an AND. This is another way of approaching the same uh, problem, right? So now there is one more function. Okay, here it is. If you see, okay, this B is coming uh, here, and it's slightly. Uh, different topology. So, uh, how do we go about doing this? Okay, this is slightly different topology than the earlier one. 
so what we do is right first one we replace a within uh, nand so you have to put one bubble also right so you put one bubble here one bubble here so this b no more you know, so you see you have inserted a bubble here to make it end. but that corresponding it is it is shown as b out here so we have to make this b bar now right the input gets modified or you have to put an inverter here right so you have to be care so now you keep uh, you know, putting so these two bubbles they get cancelled right here also you have put one more bubble for the next and and you have put two bubbles here so this bubble is coming here so this bubble is taken care of by this bubble so these these terms do they don't get modified here in this case right in this case whereas here this bubble doesn't have a corresponding bubble here for b so you have to be so this gets cancelled this gets cancelled there is no corresponding so you have to put it as b bar is it clear this this circuit everybody anybody has got any doubt can somebody say yes or no so that i know uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yeah so you just have to be careful you know you keep adding bubbles okay but you can't arbitrarily put a bubble without cancelling okay so in this case yeah, th yeah tell me so do we write it as b bar or do we insert an inverter uh, uh, yeah, uh, see, uh, generally, you, know, you, you can write B bar and you can leave it you know, for, for your examination purpose. Now, it depends on when you are actually making a circuit, you have to see whether B bar is available to you. If it is not available, we put a B bar. Uh, we have to make an inverter. Okay? Okay. For, for, for your examination purpose, you can assume that you know, all the inverting things are available or it will be specified in the question. Okay? But when we do actual uh, programming and uh, we have to see if BVAR was ever generated also in the previous stage for any purpose, right? So it depends on that. Sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, but why do we bother uh, inverting the inputs again, sir? Because we can realize an uh, inverter with an AND gate itself, right? Correct. So in this case, no, see, we require B bar here, right? We are going to replace this as an AND gate, right? So we rec we have to put a bubble here, right? If we have to put a bubble, we have to get B bar, right? So so we have to make an uh, either we make a NAND gate here. I am telling you, like uh, there will be many circuits in which both A and A bar will be generated, specific to hardware requirement, right? In your design for you, for any purpose, you might have already generated B bar, right? Then you will not keep making another inverter here. If that is already available to you, you will use it. If it is not available, you put one more NAND gate, okay? Uh, one more inverter there, okay? It is specific so, to the pro. Yeah, <laughs> tell me. Uh, sir, but uh, when we uh, implement NAND gate on yeah. an OR gate, there is always a bubble. Uh, there are three bubbles, like two for the input and one for the output, right? Yeah. But in this above diagram, there is no output bubble. Like in the end also, we can't see an output bubble. Uh, here, is it? Here and also over there, like the second OR gate. No, yeah. no, no. If you... No, no. Uh, see, uh, OR gate, a OR gate, if you invert the inputs and outputs, it will become AND. And if you invert just the inputs, it will become NAND. Is it clear? Yes, sir, but... Um, so you don't have to do that, right? So I, like according to the expression, this has to be an OR gate, right? Which one? Uh, according to the expression given above, C, D plus B. Huh? Uh, this has to be an OR gate. Okay, I okay. Mean, we, we'll go back, we'll, we'll go back. Right? This is the implementation? Correct? Yes. Okay. Now I am going to put one bubble here. Right now, to compensate this bubble, I have to put one more, otherwise, the function will change. Right? If I put two bubbles, it is not going to change the output. Right? Yes, so, so I am putting one more bubble here. Right? Okay. okay, I am putting one more bubble here also. Okay. Right? This is an additional bubble which I put so that this becomes a NAND. So, to compensate that bubble, I am going to put finally B bar here. Okay, okay? now. Now this is already done. This has become an AND. This has already become an AND. Now I have to make this particular NAND. Okay. So now I am putting a bubble here. Okay. Mm -hmm. To compensate this, I am going to put one more bubble here. Right. And to make this as a NAND, I am going to invert the other input also. Right. Mm -hmm. And to compensate that, I have put a bubble here. Okay. So got it. 
Okay, now these all have become NAND. Only thing is here we have put a bubble, so there is no cancellation there. So these have got cancelled if you see. So the, this, this has not got cancelled, so I have put it as B bar now. Okay, then I re, uh, replace this. Okay, okay. You just have to be careful when you have, like if you have only two stages of, then you can just simply blindly change all, all into it. When you have like three stages or four stages, you have to be careful. Some inputs might get uh, uh, inverted because there may not be a corresponding bubble. So you just have to be careful with that. Okay. So this is a, uh, uh, this is a truth table, right? Which, so you have see uh, one here. So this is this and one big group is that this is A plus B dash C dash D, right? In this case, we are assuming ki we don't have an a B dash. So you have put a NAND, one, one uh, AND and one an OR gate, right? So how to map it into an NAND gate? So this I am going to put an a, uh, a one, one bubble out here. So this has become one bubble out here, right? So I have to put one more bubble here also. So now this A is coming directly. So I put one more NAND no, uh, here. So uh, you see this is, is this clear from the truth table? Just have a look if anybody has got uh, any doubt in this. Is it clear? So can you explain that one more please? This one? This has this one? Yes sir, yes sir. Yeah. See, uh, uh, F is equal to A plus B, uh, B dash C D. Right? I am assuming B dash is not available me. So I have put a not. So this has become B dash C D or A. So or A. Right? Now first is I am going, this not, I, I have to make all NAND gates. This not I have put an NAND gate, shorted both. So this has become a NAND. Now I am going to put a bubble here. Okay? This bubble. If I put a bubble here, I have to put one more bubble here to compensate in the input of the OR gate. Now, so that those two bubbles will get cancelled. But I have to put one more bubble in here to make this NAND. So I have put one more bubble here at the uh, input, uh, bottom input of the OR gate, right? So to compensate that bubble, so that this becomes a NAND. So this get, becomes a NAND too. Now to uh, compensate that uh, and a bubble which I have put here, I have to put one inverter in between, right? So this has become A bar. It's become A bar or I have put one NAND gate which is inverted. Is this clear? Okay, so this is how Anna, from the truth table uh, we do the uh, implementation part. Okay, so uh, uh, when we do now Xilinx uh, Anna, uh, on the fourth lab, so uh, we will write some expressions and we will see that the software generates the various gate uh, topologies. So you will see that it is doing all these things. We will be able to see the schematic which the software is synthesizing it. Okay, that we will we'll learn very soon. We will we'll be able to see and uh, how these gates are implemented in the Xilinx software. Okay. So, uh, yeah, tell me. Sir, in KMAX, uh, we always pair in the multiple of two, or is that uh, anything we can pair? Like Thank single you. one also we can pair. Is that so? No, uh, if you see, you, you uh, the biggest possible square we have to take. Okay, in even numbers like uh, 2, 4, uh, 2, 4. If 8 is possible, obviously 16 is possible, you will take that. If that is not possible, you will take 8. Then you will go for 4, 2. But in some cases, uh, there will be no way you can pair uh, uh, the, a number. Okay, there will be some uh, tables in which one will be uh, left alone. So you will have to take that one, right? If you take, like in a 16, uh, 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 variable this thing like if you have four vari four input variables if one element you cannot pair with anybody the expression will have you know, four uh, variables right so that is there so it is possible so, sir, yeah I have a two cross three rectangle so I can make a pair of six yeah then it, yeah you can make you can make no uh, six is not possible uh, two cross three right yeah, yeah so, no, no, six will not be possible. You like to take uh, multiple of two, four, eight, sixteen, and that goes on like that. Uh, no, 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 no. So, uh, six, uh, six will not be possible. For two cross three, it will be possible. I think for three, uh, uh, two cross three is possible, right? In two cross three, you can go six also. Okay. 
right? For three variable, for three variable, if you see six is possible, right? Mm. Oh, all of them will be possible. Le le we'll just after this class we'll revisit that slide, you know, of three variable, and we'll see that particular case. Okay. Okay. So, implementation can always use the OR gate with two uh, negation inputs, right? Uh, pardon, uh, I didn't get you. Yeah, you can do that. And either of the answers is correct. No, when when we say, Anna, uh, see, uh, for when we say uh, sum of products, it will get implemented with AND gates and an OR gate. Okay. When we yes. say you have to implement with NAND gate, so it is NAND gate here. Yeah. So uh, instead of using that last uh, NAND gate, then we can also take an OR gate and take two input bubbles. No, but what is the uh, fun in that? Because we are doing every with NAND because NAND is a universal gate, right? In FPGA and all, all the gates will be NAND gate only. Right? Uh, in, in FPGA, what happens is the, 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 it will provide 1 lakh NAND gates, okay? You will be able to, um, uh, because uh, you will be able to program the interconnects to realize yes. various functions, okay? Yes. Because if everybody makes with circuits with AND, OR and all, then okay. you, can't, you can't design a chip, you know, they have to make the chip accordingly fabricate, it will be very costly. Each chip will cost you crores of rupees to fabricate. Okay. So okay. what you have, you have something in between known as FPGA and all, Okay, in which there are already fabricated NAND gates. Okay. So if you have come up with a new idea, so a new uh, schematic, so you can always uh, just do the interconnections, programming it through software, so it will make the interconnections. So there, Anna, when you make the interconnections, it is, uh, it is like if you try and uh, make say out of 1200 AND gates, 200 OR gates, 200 NOT gates, if you fabricate something like that, it may be possible that you might require uh, say Anna, uh, 500, Anna, uh, uh, 500 AND gates, then you are stuck, right? So in these cases, it will be better to make a universal gate so that if all the 900 you require only AND gate still you can program it that way right that gives lot of flexibility using universal gates right so that so is, NAND implementation is, supposed to is only NAND gates, only NAND NAND gates. Okay, okay right you understand uh, why it is being taught like this okay because yes. Uh, hardware implementation why is the NAND gate we are stressing so much is tomorrow when you make an uh, no, uh, making it uh, uh, no, uh, dumping it into a FPGA and all, okay, NAND gates will be, uh, because fabrication wise it will be easy. Okay, so that is, okay, so uh, you have, uh, yeah, tell me. Uh, can, in KMAPs, can there be only, uh, like suppose, in KMAPs we only make pairs and quadrants and everything, but can there be a single one or single zero? Yeah, depending it, on the or yeah, process? yeah, it will be there. It will be there in many cases. And in practical and circuits. Uh, pardon? Uh, like a single one and then we can just circle that without making any yeah. pairs or quadrants. Yeah, yeah, it will be there. Okay. In practical circuits, many a times it will, you know, there will be a single one which we will not be able to you know, pair with anybody. It will be there. Such cases will be there. Okay? So, okay. okay. So, uh, uh, we have NOR implementation also, right? So, uh, uh, like in, in, you have, you know, uh, sum of product similarly you have uh, right and a product of some forms also so you will have uh, or gates like this right now if you have to convert this into an only nor you put a bubble here you put a bubble here okay to corresponding bubbles you will put you know, here also so this becomes a nor and an and gate with two uh, inverted inputs becomes an or gate so it is the same logic here so when whenever you have and a product of sums, it is easy to map it into an NOR gate implementation. Or I can put it the other way around. If I have a hardware which has got only NOR gates, then I should simplify my K map into you know, sum of products. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, product of sums. Is it clear? Okay, that is why we are learning both of them. If I have an FPGA which has got only NOR gates, then when I make the simplification circuits, I can use from the K map I can get this or the other one, right? I can get sum of product or product of sum. From the hardware, if I if this is the requirement, I will map only zeros and make 
a gates like this here. Okay, is it clear why we are learning both the techniques? It is because of the hardware requirement. See, this is one gate which we require to be implemented. You know, F. So uh, I have I have put one bubble here, one bubble here, right? So to compensate, uh, to make this NOR, I have put one additional bubble is required. These gets cancelled. This doesn't get cancelled. So I have used an uh, 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 or NOR gate here. Okay. It is shown single here like this. It single means it has got two inputs and both are shorted. Okay. So in some textbooks, when, when you see like this, okay, it means it's a NOR gate with two inputs, both are shorted. So see, you see, this gets simplified in this manner. It, it is very, very uh, similar to the NAND implementation, NOR implementation. Okay. So I have put one, uh, okay. So is this aspect clear? So the, yeah, tell me. Sign the NAND conversion to NOR. Like mm, I understood the first two inputs, but when the E dash input was happening, okay. the NAND got converted to one NOR plus another, like a NOR final NOR. Yeah. See, uh, this this A B or requires to be converted to NOR, so I have put a bubble here. So corresponding bubble I have put it here. Okay, to cancel that bubble. I have put one bubble here so that the function doesn't change. I am going to put a bubble here. So this has become NOR. Now I have to make this AND gate also NOR. So how to make a make an uh, uh, AND uh, AND gate NOR by inverting the input. So I have put one more. Okay, I have put one more NOT here so that this becomes a NOR. So to compensate that, I have taken this as E dash now. Is it okay? Now this this is an AND gate with all the inputs inverted, so that I can represent as a NOR gate, right? Now again this is E bar, so I have replaced again with E and that bar, to generate that bar I have used an OR gate here. Is this okay? Okay. So uh, this is all for today. The I'll just, uh, uh, this we have already, uh, I think I discussed gray codes in the doubt class. You can have that video. I'll, sh nevertheless, I'll share this PPT. Okay, uh, this one I explained to you, right? Last time in one of the doubt classes, how this mirror. So uh, I will share this PPT with you all, okay?